you know, for our um, our team. I thought, obviously, Marine Alarmy was just fantastic tonight. Um, I thought Taylor Whitley um, was unbelievable as well. And, you know, she goes five for nine, has 16. Um, but just her leadership, you know, there was um, – um, about the 16-minute mark, we had a pretty spirited timeout, and I thought that uh, uh, finally Taylor and, and Anna Mon, uh got back to, um, uh, you know, talking to their team about uh, how how we were going to win the game and how we were not going to play to 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 lose it. And I thought that was huge, uh, just the dialogue that was going on in the bench. Um, but great win, you know. I, I love the way that um, uh, they were able to, um, you know, get stops. I think uh, this is. You know, I don't know how uh, accurate this is, but uh, uh, Reedy felt like um, we were, you know, 18 for 25. We got stops uh, down the stretch, uh, you know, 18 of our the 25 possessions, and that was huge. I thought defensively we were um, we were great, particularly, uh, like I said, in that second half. Questions, Greg? What, uh, what questions I like to ask about offense? the other day about defense and what, right. what, what adjustments did you have to make well, there to get that run going? Yeah, we uh, obviously we were in our um, we were in our one two two zone because uh, we uh, were not um, we were just having a hard time guarding them man to man. Uh, and the adjustment that we made is we just inverted it and we put red. You saw red in the middle of that. Uh, Casey got in the middle of that and uh, made all the difference. Uh, I felt we felt like Christina Shorter. Some of their post players were catching that high post area. And they were catching it too easy, and they were putting it on the floor. Um, so the one adjustment we made, instead of it uh, being, uh, you know, just an odd front, it became really a 3-2, um, kind of a matchup zone. And, uh, you know, it's, it's one thing to put it in. It's another thing for your kids to execute it. And I thought, uh, you know, Marina, obviously offensively she was great, but uh, she was really good defensively too. Uh, I thought Tasha came in. Um, and uh, was was steady offensively, but she looked down and she has seven boards, uh, which was huge going down the stretch. What you, you know that I think went on a six, sixteen to three run. That obviously got back in the lead there. Uh, you know, you mentioned Taylor. What is it that uh, she seems had an extra determination? It seems like to, to once you're down eleven there, probably like you said after coming out of that timeout, maybe. Well, we've talked about it before. You know, when you're a senior, again, your window is 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 slowly closing. Yeah. So I think there's a different sense of urgency uh, about Taylor, and I think there'll be one on Sunday, and I think there'll be one down the stretch the remainder of the season, um, because she knows that uh, her career is uh, is is closely coming to an end here. And I think that that was part of it. Um, you know, I think that uh, you know Taylor, uh, you know, was still. I think disappointed in the Illinois State loss, uh, the fact that uh, you know she uh, uh, probably could have done some things offensively down the down there, and that and she di she didn't get it done against them. So I thought her determination, particularly on the offensive end in the second half, um, was was key. I think she just uh, decided to take over, and uh, then obviously we got uh, we got Marina going. Yeah, you know, uh, just talk about her steady improvement at the offensive end this season. Well, she's talented. You know, we got to. Um, and she knows this, you know, she's far from being the player that we know that uh, or we think she has potential of becoming. Uh, we're very, we're hard on her. You know, we are hard on her every day and uh, uh, certainly our expectations are high. But, uh, you know, this is a kid that wants to be great and she's communicated that with us and now it's our job uh, to hold her to that and remind her of that and uh, help her to continue to get better. Uh, you know, she's a kid that can play with her back to the basket. She has great touch. Uh, you know, she has great touch from the free throw line. So if she gets fouled, uh, she's usually pretty good off the free throw line. Um, and, and she's just going to continue to get uh, better. And we need her. We also need Rachel. Uh, you know, again, Rachel gets off to a slow start in the first half, and we're trying to, to help her with that. We need her to play uh, two solid halves. And, uh, you know, if, uh, if those two can uh, show up on the same night, you know, we're a really good basketball team. Missouri State's a pretty good rebounding team from looking at the numbers, and, and you guys are trailing in that department. Right. And you fell behind there. How big was it to turn that oh, around? Oh, it's huge. You know, that's one of the reasons we won at their place uh, is because we were out, we were able to out-rebound them. Um, even with, uh, you know, we ended the game with five guards in there. But uh, throughout the course of that game, we did a great job, I thought, uh, on the boards. And uh, we, we did that tonight. And again, it was, we were we were getting out-rebounded at halftime. So part of the challenge is uh, the fact that we've got to, uh, you know, we got to clean that, clean up that on that end. And, um, 
And, you know, that, that always comes down, Craig, to just um, to your heart and hustle. And, uh, again, we had that about the 16-minute mark. We, we really had a spirited, I thought, um, uh, timeout. And um, at that point, we decided that we were going to go out and we were going to win the game.